having someone come into your studio or a celebration of fine art, see your work, fall in love with it, take it home and hang it in their home and live with it. It makes me happy to paint it. It makes them, them happy to have it in their home. So the relationship you have with your collectors is like none other. My name is Beth Zink and I paint in acrylics. I learned it from my elementary school art teacher back in Rhode Island when she told my mother I had a gift. I knew I liked to draw, but I didn't know I was better than anyone else until that time. I was allowed to major in art in college because of uh, the encouragement that I received from my teachers in high school and in um, elementary school. So I experimented with oil, acrylic, watercolor, sculpture, all media. And um, I just really enjoyed acrylic because it was, it, it dried quickly so I could move faster through the painting and I could work large. I experimented with watercolor and oil too, but acrylic's always been my favorite. Seems like I've always been drawn to nature, generally, as opposed to figurative art or still life, that sort of thing. I experimented in all of them, but I just, I love the outdoors, I love nature, so, you know, flowers, mountains, clouds, uh, you know, sky. I mean, it's just sunsets. I love painting all of that. Arizona, well, we moved to Arizona in 1986, and then I fell in love with the desert because I'd grown up back east. So cactus were so bizarre. They're, you know, the uh, plants are like sculptures. I just, I love it all. I recall uh, painting pretty natural colors until one day I was so sick of green that I literally saw a tube of orange that I rarely use and I painted a prickly pear cactus in orange instead of green. And I was in a gallery at the time and it sold really quickly. I thought, okay, well I'm going to try a purple agave. And so I, I mean, just, just being silly, being crazy. And uh, it sold really well. So that is how it, it just came by, you know, it was just, it was just a fluke. I'm always looking for, um, for new subjects uh, within the realm of nature. And I realized uh, in the last year or two that, um, you know, I love taking pictures of sunsets and clouds. And those are very challenging to paint, more so than, than um, you know, a cactus flower or a landscape. And so I think just your choice of subject as you move around and go from one thing to another, just they all present new challenges. It takes your mind on a little vacation. You basically, it's, it's very relaxing because you're concentrating so much on how to mix a certain color or how to, how to you know, paint that shape that you're not thinking about anything else in your life. So the creative process is just, it's therapeutic, it's relaxing, it's just everything about it. I just get lost in it. I can be, my husband accuses me of being out in my studio, starting in the morning painting and being in my jammies and all of a sudden it's time to think about dinner. <laughs> the most rewarding is having someone come into your studio or a celebration of fine art, see your work, fall in love with it, take it home and hang it in their home and live with it. It makes me happy to paint it. It makes them happy to um, have it in their home. So it's just a wonderful relationship that an artist has. Um, not only do we create it for ourselves, but then someone else falls in love with it and they pay you for it and then they get, live with it and it becomes part of their life. So the relationship you have with your collectors is like none other. I love the, the, uh, the camaraderie with the other artists. I love um, that um, it's, it's a place for so many more people to see my work than they would anywhere else in, a, in, a, in my studio, for example. And um, it's just a, a, a really wonderful experience.